Do not go in B&M or Home Bargains without doing this. I don't think you're ready for charity shop haul number two. Like I can't find my makeup. Turn it up, Doris. Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I want to talk about intentional spending and talk you through my recent purchases, things that I bought recently, a bit of a shopping haul, but also why I've bought those things and brought them into my house. But first, there's a little bit of a disclaimer with this. If I'm talking a little bit differently than usual, I had a surgery on my mouth. I think I've mentioned before that I have like ongoing issues with my wisdom teeth. Um, so I had a surgery on my mouth, so I've got stitches in there at the minute. Um, one side of my face is still swollen and yeah, basically it's affecting my speech a little bit. So um, I had that done on Tuesday, so hopefully that'll be getting better soon. But that would explain that. Plus, everything has gone wrong with my makeup today. I literally can't find it. Like, I can't find my makeup. I used it yesterday. Don't know where it's gone. I don't know where it's gone. It was nearly the end of the tube, which you'll see I've repurchased. But um, yeah, I don't know where it's gone. I literally have no idea where my tube of makeup is. I have no idea. So I've had to make do with what I, what I, what I had in. Um, but yeah, so it's been a bit of a morning. I... Um, I dropped the kids off at school, so we were up at like, I don't know, half past six, obviously standard with kids. In fact, that's a really good day with my kids, because I think the baby was up at 5am the day before. Um, so we've been up since half past six. That gave me some time to um, clean the kitchen, clean the house up before the day started. And I was feeling really smug and pleased with myself. Got the kids in the car, ready to go to school, you know, I think I'm doing well. Um, and then I get like halfway up the hill on the way to school and I'm thinking... The baby's making a lot of chatter. Has he got his dummy? And he doesn't. He doesn't have his dummy. Which is a good thing because we're trying to take the dummy away and, and have less time with the dummy now. He's like over one year old and I don't want to leave it too late so it becomes really difficult. And he doesn't have it during the day at nursery, but I wasn't sure if he needed it for his nap. So I've had to come back and get the dummy, which is a little bit of a blessing in disguise because I also had forgotten his antibiotics for the ear infection that he has, the second round of antibiotics for the ear infection that he has. Um, so I had to take those as well. So I managed to get everyone to school just about on time. As I was on my way out the door with the kids, I found the first thing that we're going to talk about of items that we're bringing into the house this month. Um, this was free. Now, I thought you might be interested in this because I think I know what it is and it's a really good freebie. So the way that I get these freebies is I look out for what are called sponsored ads on social media. So when you scroll in your social media, sometimes you'll see something. And if you look closely, it will actually be what's called a sponsored ad and it will have a freebie in it. So you apply for the freebie. There's two main companies in the UK that send them out. One's called Sample, which is S-A-M-P-L, and one's called SoPost but the ads will come from the company themselves. This is one of them, and I wanted to show you what it is because I've seen other people unboxing this freebie and it's a really, really good one. So let's open it and let's see what it is. And also I will say, because of like waste and stuff, um, you know, we don't want to be getting unnecessary products. We don't want to be having unnecessary things shipped to us. Um, so I will only now choose the ones and apply for the ones that I think are actually going to be good and that I actually will use. Um, and if I do get some that I don't use, I will give them away like to friends or family. But I generally tend to be quite selective in the ones that I will apply for now because we don't want to be wasting things. The good thing is they've all started to come in like more eco-friendly packaging, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, it is what I thought it was. And I think you're going to like this. It's Olaplex number three. And it, look at that. It's 20 mils. That is what we call a deluxe sample so i'm really really happy with that um so these kind of things are perfect for if you're going like away for the night or if you just want to have like a little spa day at home but on a budget you can apply for these freebies and basically sample these like higher end products that maybe you wouldn't be able to afford or that you wanted to try before you bought them for free and i've got another one that i wanted to show you that came this week as well hang on it's this Prada Paradox. It's a little perfume sample. Um, now, these are not the best for the environment because they are in little plastic tubes, but I do recycle everything I can. But you get these little samples of perfume, high-end perfumes that are probably like quite expensive per bottle. These are perfect for putting in your handbag. Absolutely perfect. And there are so many of these about. Some people also get these and put them into like, DIY advent calendars at Christmas, which is a really good idea. I haven't done that myself, but these, love these. Um, and also, sometimes my daughter wants to spray a little bit of perfume and 
like I know fragrance is not good for kids but occasionally I will let her and I just let her pick one of these that she wants to spray and then you know she's not using my Christmas present or whatever um and it was free so I'm happy with that do let me know if you've ever like applied for freebies or if you want to know more about that but those are two things that have come into my house so a lot of the things that I have bought this last month or so are actually from the charity shop um, and whilst we're up here I thought I would show you this one this is it's it's like a short length such a nice like summer dress it's got like a little sort of split detail in the sleeves so it'd actually be quite nice for like a summer wedding as well I think with the, the right accessories but it's Mila London and the reason I picked it up is because I actually have a Mila London dress in fact I have two and I am obsessed I'm the kind of person that buys an item of clothing and wears it until it falls apart like if I like something, I like it. I would rather just wear that. And the Mila London dress that I already have is the one that for years has been my go-to dress. Like if everything else doesn't feel right, this dress will feel right because it's just, oh, it's so nice. It works for weddings. It works for night outs. I absolutely love it. I feel like I need to show you this dress now. Um, but yeah, it's a Mila London one. So I was really keen to pick this one up and it was on the sale rail at the charity shop. It was £5. I think that is such a bargain. I tried it on. I might need to put a little stitch in it just for, you know, my personal preference. Um, but I absolutely love it. So I think for £5, that is such a bargain dress and I'll be taking it on um, holiday. I've got a summer wedding coming up, so potentially it could be uh, an option for that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So something I've been really guilty of in the past is buying clothing because it's a good price or buying things, in fact, because they're a good price. Um, I like a bargain and I've been guilty of buying things that I'm not actually going to use. However, as I say, I recognise this brand. I thought the dress would be perfect for various occasions and I also need some new clothes. My wardrobe at the minute is full of clothes that I would have worn several years ago before having kids that I don't necessarily feel that confident or comfortable in anymore. Maybe they're not the right size, maybe they're not the right fit. Um, and I definitely need to declutter some of those clothes and be a bit ruthless and get some new stuff. Like, it's time to buy some new clothes. I hardly ever buy things for myself and I definitely hardly ever buy clothes. Um, so, yeah, this was definitely a thought-out purchase. And for £5, I thought I couldn't go wrong and I kept the receipt so I could take it back if I needed to. Because um, you can return things to a charity shop, which is was a little bit of a revelation to me but you can um yeah so this i'm really happy with this i like it i like it a lot what do you think about that let me know um and then actually i'm wearing another one of the items that i bought recently which is this sort of hooded thick cardigan it's got pockets we love a pocket don't we um and i bought this it was 34.99 from tk maxx you might have seen it in the wedding anniversary mini vlog that i made um, I bought this from TK Maxx and again this is one of the steps towards creating a wardrobe of intentional purchases that I'm actually going to wear. Um, so it was quite hard for me to part with 34 99 to be honest for a, a cardigan slash jackety thing. I don't even know what this is called. You can tell I'm not a fashion person can't you? Um, it was quite hard for me to part with that amount of money but I also recognised that this was the kind of thing that I will wear until it falls apart, which is exactly what I need to be buying. I need to be buying potentially higher quality items that I will wear and use day in, day out. So this was one of them and I have loved it so far. Absolutely loved it. I don't know what brand this is. What brand is this? This is Max Studio from TK Maxx. Um, it is so comfortable and warm and it's great for like a little over the top if you're going to drop the kids off at school or in the house or you could dress it up, you can dress it down. It's literally perfect. I love it. So I'm definitely pleased with that one. Again, very much an intentional purchase. We're now downstairs in the kitchen and I want to show you charity shop mini haul number one. Um, I got these things, I think last weekend. Now, the story behind the first two items is when my daughter was little like one um we used to read to her every night obviously it's really good for kids we used to read to her um she used to sit on our lap and we used to read to her obviously my baby is the second child also just just a reminder for anyone who doesn't know he's not actually a baby he's like 15 16 months old he's my second child i've no idea how old he is he's somewhere between one year and a year and a half 
he's in the middle somewhere. Um, but obviously we don't have the same amount of time to just dedicate one-on-one -on -one to one child because we have two. Um, and also he is just different. All kids are different. And as yeah, I'm struggling to get him to like sit down and listen to me read a book. Obviously, I would imagine that is normal. Um, but I want to try and start getting into the habit of at least trying to read a book with him and build that like attention to reading a book because my daughter now, we read her every night. She's doing really well with like phonics and stuff at school and I want to make sure I give baby boy the same choice, basically. Same option, if you like. So I thought these would be a good option. Calm down, Boris. And his sister... Turn it up, Doris. Um, I've noticed that the books that he will pay more attention to are the ones where you can touch things. Um, and obviously this one is quite interactive. So these were 49p, for, 49p each, I think, from Oxfam. Um, and we've read this one at the library um, and they're great. So I thought we'd get those and see if we can build up some sort of reading habits by using these. The next thing I got was this. Now, Melissa and Doug, I think, is like the Montessori children's brand of dreams or something. Um, and it's like a cross between Where's Wally and a sticker book. So the stickers are all here. And basically, you have to find... My daughter managed to get this, this one sticker on. This was brand new. My daughter managed to get this one sticker on before I got it out of her way. Because I want to give it to her like at another time. I don't want to have everything all at once. Um, but you've got to find the picture that corresponds with your sticker and stick your sticker on. So I thought that was like amazing. It's 99p. 99p from one of the charity shops. I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really good. 400 plus stickers. So that should keep her entertained for some time. We're actually going to Centre Park soon. So this kind of thing is like the perfect activity to take with you or like to take to a restaurant if you're trying to entertain the kids or if you're going somewhere or even just to like let them do it at home and this one i wasn't planning to buy but she asked for it um it's like a unicorn paint by numbers for children thing and she's already been doing it as you can see it came with like the little paints inside now the reason i was a little bit unsure about buying it is because obviously it had the little pops of paint you know the tiny little rubbish pops of paint that come with these things and i thought they were probably dried out and to be fair some of them were we put a bit of water in them and she's got some paints of her own um, it was 1.99, and in furnace, when we came home, she spent a good while painting that. So it definitely bought me a little bit of a time to do a few jobs. So it was actually well worth it and a good buy. She loves craft, so I never discourage her from crafty things. So that's why we picked that one up. I don't think you're ready for charity shop haul number two. Um, it was books. I didn't in, didn't go in there intending to do this. I'll be honest. Um, but that doesn't make this an, that doesn't make this an impulse purchase. So one of my goals for 2024 is to read more, make more time for reading. I love reading, and when I had my first baby, I read so much because I don't know if I've spoken about it yet, but she was a terrible sleeper and she used to contact nap, and I could be stuck under her for like three hours. So I read so much, mostly on my Kindle in the dark. It was pretty much the only thing I could do, um, and I really want to get back to reading. I enjoy reading. So this is an intentional purchase in the sense that it aligns with one of my goals, although I didn't go in there intending to buy it, if that makes sense. But it's all from the charity shop. Basically cleared out the personal development section. And I want to show you what I got, see what you think. So the first book that I got was this. Johan Hari, Stolen Focus, Why You Can't Pay Attention. So I'm actually looking out for his other book, Lost Connections, um, at the charity shop. But I've not spotted that one yet, but I spotted this one and I thought it was perfect for me. So my attention span has got so much worse since having kids, getting older, life, stress, all that sort of stuff. My attention span is terrible. And I really want to work on that. And that is part of why I have the goal to read more in 2024. So this just seemed to fit perfectly with absolutely everything that I want to be about in 2024. So that's why I picked that one up. It actually says on the back that this was originally £20. I paid £1.99, so absolute bargain. On the same theme, How to Break Up With Your Phone by Catherine Price. And it says on it, set yourself free from a life lived through a screen, which is absolutely what I need to do. Obviously, I work on social media now as like a part-time job, side hustle, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I definitely want to break up with my phone a little bit. So there's no need for me to be on my phone. It's like a comfort thing or like a 
like a default thing now. It's a bad habit to pick up my phone all the time and I need to break up with my phone. So this, got high culture. I've seen this so many times, but I found it in the charity shop again, One ninety nine for that one. Next one, working hard, hardly working, Grace Beverly. So if you follow me on any of my other social media or as we go along on here, you will understand that basically I'm on a budget and I plan to pay off my mortgage early so that I can have more financial freedom, time freedom. And obviously this is what this is about, time freedom pretty much. Um, how to achieve more, stress less and feel fulfilled by Grace Beverly. So I'm really excited to read that one. I definitely want to be more productive, but less productive. So we'll see if that can help me. This one I got because I just honestly thought it looked like such a sweet book. It's, it's so sweet. It's uh, Happy Mind, Happy Life by Dr. Rangan Chatterjee. I showed this book on my Instagram and so many people have messaged me to say that he's got an amazing podcast. So I might have to check that out. I'm not really a podcast person, if I'm honest. It just, yeah, I think it just sort of goes over my head. But I might check it out. But at least I can read this book. Um, I also want to start like working on my health. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've got like issues going on with my mouth. I've got some other medical issues going on at the moment. Um, I think I mentioned like being sick and I have to have like a scan on my uh, my abdomen to see whether or not I might have gallstones or something. Um, and I want to work on my health. Since having kids, I just feel like my health has declined at a rate of knots. Like as someone who was never ill, I have been ill since November. And whilst I'm not ill with a cold now, I've still got other medical things going on. So I need to be working on health and well-being. And I feel like this is definitely in line with that. Now this one, I am very interested in. Period Power by Maisie Hill. Again, a few people have messaged me and said they've read this and they thought it was very good. In fact, the woman in the charity shop said she's read it um, and her sister gave it to her as a gift. So um, yeah, I'd be excited to read that. So it says, harness your hormones and get your cycle working for you. The reason I picked this up is because again, so since having children, things have changed a lot. Prior to having kids, I was on the pill, um, contraceptive pill from like 15 to, I don't know, 30 something. And obviously we had children, so I had to come off the pill and I haven't wanted to go back on it. And that has made it more obvious how my moods fluctuate with my cycle. And I have been to see the doctor at one point um, about whether or not I might have PMDD, which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which is basically in very, very, very simplistic terms, extremely bad PMT, like extremely bad. That is probably very much minimizing it, but just to make it simple, extremely bad. Um, so I've seen the doctor about that and you know, things are a little bit better at the minute, but I definitely would be interested to see whether or not this, this book can offer me any tips or tricks or advice on how to work with my hormones. So I'll see how that goes and I'll let you know. This pile of the personal development books, I got five, but they were $1.99 each. So it cost me £10. I just feel like, what a haul. What a haul. £10 from the charity shop. They're all hardbacks, I think. Oh, apart from this period power one. And oh no, actually, they're not all hardbacks. But three out of the five of them are. Um, £10, I think that's insane value. Now, I am aware that I could just get these from the library okay, and I can get them for free, and I can get them on BorrowBox and all that stuff, but the reason why I don't is because my life and personality just don't allow me to read books quick enough, okay, and it gets me really stressed when it's coming to, like, the end of the, like, loan period, and you either have to return it or extend it, and you might get a fine, and I just, I'd rather not, so for £10, it is worth £10 to eliminate that part of the stress of things and get all of these amazing books. And, nearly forgot, I did pick up a fiction for good measure. So let me know if you've read this one. It's called The Escape by Ruth Kelly, um, The Grand of the Home, The Dark of the Secrets. I love a good thriller, crime type book, um, and I'm hoping that this is going to be a good one. Let me know if you've read it. Let me know what you thought. Don't tell me the story, but let me know what you thought. So, I hope you can see so far how all the purchases that I have made are very much in line with a specific need or a specific goal and also obviously a budget friendly because the majority of it's come from the charity shop 
Um, so obviously I had the dress that I had specific ideas in mind for. It was very budget friendly at five pound. I had the books that were for my son with a very specific intention to get interactive books, to get him involved in the books. I have the personal development books that are in line with my goal of reading more in 2024. So um, I feel like it's going well so far. Let me show you what else I got. So we're moving on now to like a little Amazon, very mini haul, it's two items. Um, so these are from Amazon. I bought these with platform credit, which I had from like my social media content creation stuff. Um, so basically I didn't have to pay out of pocket for them. I will have to pay tax, but I didn't have to pay out of pocket for them. But this is what I got. So first thing, CRZ Yoga, is that the right way up? CRZ Yoga leggings. I love Lululemon leggings, okay? When I had my first C-section, they were the only thing I wore for a long time. It was literally like a bit of a, like a notable moment when I put on hard pants, like jeans, um, because I just lived in my Lululemon aligns because they are like low compression. They don't suck you in like a sports legging usually does, but they're not a cotton legging that can look a bit informal at times. So they're like a sports legging, but they don't suck you in. They're like a yoga legging. Um, they're so comfortable, but they're also quite expensive. So I get mine either from the, we made too much section of the website, or I do live near an outlet so I can get them from there. But these are the ones that everyone goes mad about and says are the dupes for Lululemon. And I was very dubious because I had not found a legging that I felt like was anything close to Lululemon. But these are pretty close. I, I won't lie, they're pretty close. I've got two pairs, so I bought one pair which were slightly more compression that I wanted, but I've actually grown to love them. Um, and I've got another pair which are just black, which are like a lot closer to the lines, and I really love them. So I decided to pick up another pair, and it was these, I think they're 28 inches, and they are in melanite, which is some kind of like grey black colour, which sounds right up my street. So you can see they're not the same as my black top, they're kind of a very dark grey black. They're very much a dupe for the Lululemon. And here they are. So I'll link those in the description box if you're interested in trying those. Um, there's a couple of different types. I'll explain which is which in my opinion. Um, let me know if you've tried these. I absolutely love them and I hope I'm gonna love this pair as well. And the other thing I got was some high-waisted tights. So again, I struggle with tights. I've always struggled to find a pair of tights that are comfortable. And the only tights that I want to wear in my life are my maternity tights. But unfortunately, I've gone through two kids and I, I, I will wear my maternity tights to work, like I do. Obviously no one can see that they're maternity tights, but I've gone a little bit off plan and bought high-waisted ones instead of maternity ones. I feel like when you're buying clothing on Amazon or anywhere that's online that you haven't actually tried it on, it's always a little bit of a risk. So the yoga um, leggings, I've already purchased that brand, that size, so I know that they're gonna be the right thing for me. These are a little bit of a unknown, so I hope that these work out okay. I will let you know, but the reason why I had to buy them is because I've been wearing dresses to work with tights and my tights now, I'm down to one pair and they've got a hole in. So I had to get some more tights. I had to, it was literally not an option. So this is what I got. Hopefully they'll be okay. And I said the Amazon haul was two items. Actually, there's a third item from Amazon and it's these little puzzle bags. Have you seen these on the internet? Okay. These are the A6 size little puzzle bags. Okay. People use them for toy storage now. I don't like to decant all my toys into puzzle bags because I get a lot of our toys from the charity shop and I feel like you can donate them on so much better and it's so much nicer for the person who gets them if they are in the box. So if I can keep the boxes in good enough condition with my kids who are wild, then I like to donate them back again once you finish with them in the box. But that doesn't mean that these don't come in handy. So these come in handy for broken boxes um, things that are just an absolute nightmare and will get everywhere. And also, the reason why I've got these really small ones is, I will show you, in fact, I'll show you why. Have you ever had these kind of puzzles that have got four puzzles inside, but it's all in one box? Again, this came from the charity shop. Um, it's all in one box and it drives you crazy because every time your kid wants to play with them, you have to separate them all out because they want to do the specific puzzle. No more. It's no more a problem. Because look, 
they're all in their own little bag and the little bags fit inside of the box so i can have the best of both worlds because i can have an organized puzzle that doesn't fall out if one of my kids doesn't put it away properly and all the pieces go everywhere the pieces aren't mixed up and i keep the box so i can donate it, donate it on again it's literally life-changing and also there are things like this that just absolutely need to be in a bag to stop my child my baby from getting hold of them my brother-in-law bought my kids like a make your own den thing and it has all these balls in it which it's a fab present and the kids love it but my baby loves tipping it out he loves it he loves to throw them everywhere they're under the sofa it's a nightmare so at least i have a little bit of a control because he can't open this bag without me so i have a little bit of control over how often they get tipped out everywhere by having them in this bag and the box for this honestly was busted so um these needed a new home and i'm very happy with the solution again i can link these in the description box they're all different sizes this is clearly a different size than this so there's all different sizes for whatever you need and the last thing that i wanted to show you was a little repurchase of some makeup products so um i had platform credit again for these which was from a refer a friend scheme with number seven and i have repurchased my makeup and it is a good job because i have lost my makeup as i said before um, so this is the Protect and Perfect Intense. This makeup has been like the best one for my skin. Now I'm getting older. Um, this is like the best sort of more cover foundation for my skin. Um, the main problem was I had no idea what shade I was supposed to be buying because the shade doesn't seem to be on the bottle that I did have. I think it's like rubbed off or something. I clearly didn't buy it last time from the website because I couldn't find like a previous order of that shade um and so i've picked a shade and i hope it'll be okay and basically number seven quite often have discounts on and it was like buying one of these would have cost me nearly as much as buying both of them because if you bought two items you got 40 percent off so i've got two of them so i've got one for now because i've lost my other one and one is like a backstock and also some um, waterproof um eye makeup remover that i am running out of so again very much an intentional purchase. I switched to number seven products because I just feel like makeup and certainly like designer or higher end makeup is so expensive. Um, so I found that number seven is quite affordable plus good quality. So that's why I picked those up. Again, this didn't actually cost me anything because I used platform credit. So that is all of the things that I have purchased recently and brought into our house. Now, as you can see, a lot of them have been bought on a budget because a lot of them have come from the charity shop um, or they've been on offer or I've bought them with platform credit. So in terms of money spent, I haven't spent a lot of money. However, that is not my only concern. My concern is also how much stuff I'm bringing into my house and whether I'm buying things that I won't use or, or that are necessary. And I feel like everything I've bought has been like in line with a goal or a need in the house and I think it will all be used if it isn't it will be donated on but I think I've managed to make sure that what I'm buying is really intentional now one thing that I do if this is like an issue for you and it's something that you're trying to get out of one thing that I will do in a shop especially in B&M or home bargains right do not go in B&M or home bargains without doing this okay go around the shop and I'll pick up things and I'll try and be intentional about what I'm putting in the basket. But before I go to the till to pay, we have like a little stop. What is in my basket or my trolley? And is any of it stuff that I don't need? It's like a, like a little last chance to say, do I actually need this? Do we actually need this? Will we actually use this? Um, and I love to do that. And, and quite often there will be something in that basket that I think, what do you put that in there for? And I'll put it back before I go and pay. Um, so I'm definitely working on my intentional spending um, and making sure that the things that come into this house are actually things that we're going to use. So I'm very excited to read my books. Um, you know, I'm very excited to wear my leggings. The kids are going to enjoy the things that we've got for them. It was all in a budget, but more importantly, it was all intentional money spent. So I'd love to know what your issues are. Where do you find that is the place that you go that you cannot be trusted to make sensible decisions because we all have them. Mine's probably B and M. It's probably B. I think I think some of you will agree that it's B and M um, because, as I said before, things are such good value in there, and I sometimes feel like I need to buy something because it's good value. 
but it doesn't matter if it's good value. If you weren't going to use it, it's money wasted, not money saved. So we've got to think that. Um, do let me know what you think about what I got, how you're working on intentional spending. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I would love to see you on the next vlog. I'm Lee from Mortgage Free Late. I talk about money and mum life on the internet. See you soon.